Since the start of the Insider Preview, we've had a few incarnations of the store. Uh, this is the latest and greatest, released probably some a few weeks ago now, really, um, where we've had a few upgrades with the fixing the nearly little problems where you couldn't update apps. You can see here the look is very different. Um, we've got the hamburger menu gone are the days of the pivoting through the large text uh, pivots at the top there. Now we have sections such as apps and games on the left in the hamburger. You can go through and view apps in so many different ways. You can look through apps, for example, the suggested ones for you. You can go look in um, a list, essentially. Or you can, you know, you can choose, say, the games, and you can just look at the top three games or the ones chosen for you. Or, or you can search, which we'll look into have so slightly later on. When you do look into an app, you'll see here now there's a large section at the top there, coloured in a box where you can buy it. It tells you about in-app purchases, and as you scroll down, it tells you about the different things you can see there. Here's his reviews. You can see in quite detail actually how many um, reviews it's got per star um, also what's changed is the downloads and updates section which you can see here we have just a few updates to check here and when you click on the updates you'll see in a queue now previously it all used to be one just one long list of all different I uh, items you had to update or were installing which is quite unmanageable now you can update all you can you know update one by one you can keep back updates if you want it's it's much more manageable than it ever was in, for the most part when we first started the preview again with settings with all everything's updated now to look like it is in the rest of windows 10 on, on the phone or on the uh, pc or on a tablet i guess so one other thing we should look at is the my library option which shows all the apps that you've installed in the past you can go through and browse it just take a little time to load but you can look at the apps and games that you have installed on your device previously so then just another look at the home screen here we've i i like how this looks i know some people are really attached to the pivots i i quite like this it looks more modern to me i know that people will say no it doesn't but hey, so here's the, the search function here, so let's just put in um, Fallout here and we'll just have a look at the Fallout Pit Boy app. So you know, it works as you would expect really, you type in, a little thing comes down, you can choose suggestions from your, before you even search. And here's a look, just uh, some of the images you can browse through, you know, pretty standard fare really for an app store, what you would really expect from a mobile operating system these days. And last but not least, we have landscape mode. This may vary depending on what device you have, depending on your screen size and your PPI. As you can see, it looks more like the Windows 10 uh, store that you would have on your uh, computer at home. You can see things listed out in a, a grid style, just that was a slightly different portrait. Now you can see things here like the reviews are split out a little bit differently. There's a bit that was suggested apps didn't look quite so great. But hey, that's a quick look at the store. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Just a short, quick one here. Now here's a few other videos that I've done as well. I'm looking to do a few other things. Hit me up on Reddit and GMR Tech on there. Um, drop me a line on Twitter, GMR underscore tech. Whatever. I mean, I hate doing this stuff. Goddamn YouTube things, but whatever. You know, you let me know what you want me to do. I'll look at anything. I'm happy to create any sort of content. But yeah, cheers. Thanks for watching and goodbye.